Well, this is kind of pot central where we are right now in Kensington Market, right? Yes, this is a nice little area and Kensington has always been very tolerant and there's long established places like Hotbox Cafe where people have been able to consume. Of course, it is a bit of peaceful civil disobedience, but there's no problems, no kids and I'm very glad that we're able to see those sort of places right now. Are you concerned, you know, somewhere like this area is going to see big business come in and monopolize industry when it comes to pot? Well, Kensington has this situation already. I know that they're very concerned about big business. I think they'll find plenty of other places to operate in the city. But I hope to sell cannabis. I hope a lot of others can too. Why not put the buds right beside all the veggies in the market? <laughs> what about smoking pot on playgrounds? You, you aren't being able to smoke in a park, 100%. That's unacceptable. Our priority is to keep children safe. Nobody wants to see kids subjected to pot smoke, but that's not really happening. Cannabis smokers are already paranoid and worried about people judging them, so they avoid being around kids. They avoid causing problems. We already get enough grief. So we're here at the corner of Baldwin and Augusta. This is your place, Jody's Joint. What's your vision for this spot? I'd love to have the downstairs be open to everyone as a community space. We already have families and people come through. I'd love that to continue. But if you come in, you can go upstairs, and that's where you can get Jody's Joints alongside other cannabis products and consume it in a space just like Amsterdam. Are you going to apply for a license, and are you confident that you'll get that license since you have a criminal background? I hope I'll be allowed to participate legally, and I'm unsure if my history will make government officials say, no, we want to punish her and make sure she's not rewarded, or if they'd like to say, Jody, you and all the other advocates and pioneers who made this all possible, you should be allowed to at least have an equal opportunity to all the others to participate. Travis Stanrush, Global News, Toronto.